Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Trish and I thank you for stopping by. Finally, fall is here. Today, I want to share my latest project with you, which are these beautiful fall leaf candle holders made from polymer clay. If you love candles and you love fall, these are the perfect decoration for your home. This video is also part of a collaboration with other creators, so please check out their awesome projects as well, and I will link them down below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when my latest video is posted. I'd also love to hear what you think, so please feel free to leave a comment down below. All right, now on to the video. So first you want to roll your polymer clay out to the size of your leaf. Uh, I just got this printout from Google, but you can use a real leaf. This is just what I had on hand. And uh, just trace around it with a X-Acto knife. You do want to make sure that you don't roll your clay too thin. I did make that mistake the first round, and if you do that, then even after baking, it will become very fragile and will break. So you want to make sure that it's thick enough and to put it in the oven as per the instructions of the clay that you buy. So then you just pull the polymer clay away from where you've cut, and it's pretty simple. And now I'm just going to use a clay tool to smooth out the edges. And next you're going to want to take a leaf, either a real one or a fake one, and just roll it out over the polymer clay to create the veins. And you don't have to be precise on this. It looks natural either way, because no leaf is perfect. I mean, they all look different. And now I'm just rolling up the leftover clay that I had, and I'm gonna use it to make a smaller leaf. Now this leaf I wanted to remain flat, so I'm kind of shaping it more so that it's just more sturdy, giving it a little more of a shape. So now what you want to do is carefully place the leaf into the bowl and put the ends of it on the rim to give it a nice shape. Make sure that you pat it down so that it's even in the middle. And I was going to use a bowl for the smaller leaf, but I changed my mind and just decided to make it flat. And now it's time to bake. I put mine in the oven for about an hour and 20 minutes and I was checking it every 15 to 20 minutes. And this is how they turned out. So I used four paints for this. I started out with metallic red and then used orange and then metallic yellow and a metallic gold paste. And I just love the way the metallic colors 
look on these. They give it a nice shine and it just makes it really nice. I love it. And here I'm just adding orange to the red and I just love how the two colors blend together. It's really nice, it makes it come to life.
And here I'm just adding a little bit of yellow. You don't need too much for this. I mean, if you want more yellow, you can do that, but um, I just didn't want to put too much. Just a little hint of it. And so now I'm using this uh, metallic gold paste or wax. I'm not sure which it is, but this stuff is amazing. I've used it on many of my projects and you don't need to use a brush with it. You just dip your finger in there and just uh, use it for highlighting mostly. And uh, I like to go along the edges, just highlight the edges and anywhere that I think it needs it. And I mean, you can be messy with it and it'll still look nice. It's just, it's amazing stuff. I recommend it.
And the last step that I did was I used the Sculpey Glaze to varnish the leaf and just kind of protect it, protect the paint. Um, especially because that, that gold wax paint will um, come off if you don't put some kind of protectant on it. But yeah, you can use any varnish I think, but they say you should use this for polymer clay, so I did. And here's the final product. And those other leaves are from the first leaf that I made that broke, so I just used them as a decoration for this, but it worked out. And uh, if you like this video, please comment below and let me know what you think. And thank you for stopping by my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.